PlayStation's official Instagram account just dropped a fairly exciting hint at some sort of God of War slash PlayStation announcement happening this Sunday on the 12th of February at this year's Super Bowl game. They posted this video of Thor's hammer Mjolnir on Instagram and Facebook with the caption, forecast call for a blizzard on 2-12-2023, which if you live in the civilized world is the 12th of February, 2023. While this isn't a lot of information to go on, and this happened on the official Canadian PlayStation account for some reason, some people did reach out to PlayStation directly, their PR team, and got this response back. PlayStation invites fans to keep their eyes peeled on its social channels for more surprises and celebrations of a fan favorite playstation 5 game today odin's raven spotted a new teaser on playstation canada's instagram and facebook channels forecasting a blizzard on midgard this sunday night to see how it all plays out make sure you tune into the big game this weekend which sounds very exciting they do specifically call out a fan favorite playstation 5 game they do have the picture of thor's hammer it must be talking about God of War, right? So what does this all mean? Could this be an extension of the recent PlayStation 5 promotions that have been going on all around the world and Sunday they'll be doing more of that advertisement at one of the biggest events in America, the Super Bowl? I mean, maybe. Or could this be a tease for an announcement for some sort of DLC, expansion, or standalone side game for God of War Ragnarok like we have all been predicting? I mean, it could be the first one. Advertising PlayStation now that they've overcome those supply issues and PlayStation 5s are readily available for anyone to buy, it would make sense to advertise it at one of the biggest events of the year. It's a good marketing opportunity, but... It is so interesting the way they say a fan favorite PS5 game and they chose that game to advertise this tease. They chose God of War Ragnarok to advertise PlayStation as a whole. Doesn't seem right, does it? I mean, God of War is one of the best games that they make, but it's not the most recognizable. I mean, I'd go for Spider-Man if that was me. Everybody knows Spider-Man, and that's the way to really hook the general audience. So it just seems very specific that they chose God of War. It seems especially sus when they know that we are thirsting for more God of War content. Thirsting for those answers to those unanswered questions from Ragnarok. And then when you combine that with the response from the PR team, if it just doesn't add up to an ad for PlayStation as a whole. I know it's not a lot to go on, but it just shows how much people loved God of War Ragnarok that all it takes is a tease and all of our minds jump to DLC, expansion, or Atreus-led side game, a bit like Miles Morales. That's all it takes. Some of you guys may know my theory already. I haven't put it in a video yet, but my theory is that we will get an Atreus-led side game, something to answer those burning questions like where Kratos came from, how did he actually meet Faye, who blew the horn, some stuff with Jormungandr, what Atreus actually went to do after he left Kratos at the end of Ragnarok, and crucially, how we're gonna get the connection to the next God of War game, if God of War Ragnarok really was the end of the Norse saga. I really do think there's something coming to answer all of those questions. And also there was this one hint from Cory Barlog when he was answering questions on Twitter after Ragnarok and he was saying, well, that's for another game. Which is really weird because they said that this is the end of the Norse saga, so what other game? Uh, what? <laughs> I will note right here that Eric Williams did say in an interview that there won't be any DLC or expansions for God of War Ragnarok. Who knows if he was trying to be sneaky with that and maybe a standalone game doesn't count as DLC or expansion, or if he's just being a straight up troll like Cory Borlaug, maybe he's been hanging out with him way too much. And he said that, but he didn't really mean it. He was just trying to throw us off his scent. You know, that's possible as well. That could be it, let's be honest. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for the moment. I wasn't planning on staying up to watch the Super Bowl here in the UK, it'll be on very very late, but I'm considering it now. That's how much I love God of War. So let me know in the comment section what you think this announcement could be and what you think could be coming in the future for God of War Ragnarok. Well, God of War specifically. <laughs> Hope you guys all enjoyed the video. See you in the comment section. Bye.